hello students this is the next lecture of consumer behavior in the previous lecture we have studied about the motivation the theories of motivation in the theories that we studied was maslow's hierarchy of needs and maclean's triune needs theory or learn theory and their implications on marketeers so the next topic that we are going to study today is this cognition and its importance for marketeers there are two types of mental responses to the stimuli in the environment of the consumers first one is the affective and the second one is cognitive affective is related to the feelings responses emotions that is related to your heart whereas cognition uh, is mental resp response and that is related to your mind now what is cognition cognition is uh, is composed of mental responses or you can say it simply means what people are thinking about recently there has been a lots of buzz about e-commerce brands and then it is an and uh, it is uh, said that it is a new type of shopping in the market as i have to get my um, material from the market i have to take a few efforts to purchase anything i am thinking of buying from e-commerce portal next time similarly there are many thought process which runs in the human mind so the marketing strategy has to target one such thought process uh, to become successful so according to the definition that was given by hugh ten kane in 2005 cognition is simply the mental activity or process that describes the acquisition storage transformation and use of information so uh, it is all about how you acquire the knowledge on how it gets stored in your mind and how it, that uh, that the information that has been stored in your mind will be uh, transformed into some meaningful pattern or meaningful information and ultimate how you are using that uh, knowledge so the uh, it is the entire process of acquisition storage transformation and usage of knowledge so it the studying cognition is important uh, for the marketeer to understand the wheel of consumer analysis or you can say the wheel of consumer behavior it is um, simply a combination of four elements the means uh, the cb situation can be analyzed in terms of four elements the four factor model is also known as the wheel of consumer analysis the four factors are uh, that the consumer behavior consumer environment consumer affect and cognition and the marketing strategy it is simply a framework which was given by john Paul Peter and Jerry C Oslon to help marketers to understand the consumer behavior in order to design their marketing strategy so let's understand all the four elements one by one uh, the four components the first component was effect it refers to one's feeling about the stimuli or events what are we feeling means that is related to your emotions for example i like macdies french fries or i dislike beef burger affective responses vary in evaluation and it depends whether it is positive or negative next is cognition it refers to one's thinking in affective part it was about feeling whereas in cognition part it is about one's thinking so what are we thinking in affective it was what are we feeling but in cognition it is what are we thinking so knowledge structures involves in people's response to environment it includes knowledge that people have acquired from their experience or what have they been stored in their mind next uh, component is the consumer behavior uh, so it refers to the physical actions of consumer that can directly observed or measured by others so 
so uh, what action we are going to take and that is visible to others so what are we doing suppose we are watching a tv so that is an action visiting a store action buying product that is action so this is all about consumer behavior then coming to the third component that is environment or consumer environment it refers to everything external to consumer that influences what they think feel or do so it includes social stimuli such as the action of others in cultures and subcultures social classes reference groups families that influence consumers affect cognition and their behavior it also includes physical stimuli like stores products advertisements signs etc so uh, this was the third component now the final component or the fourth component is marketing strategies it is a set of stimuli that has been placed in consumer environment designed to influence their uh, affect cognition and behavior their stimuli uh, can be a product brand packaging coupons credit cards price tags sales persons communication sounds smell and other sensory cues which attract consumers uh, attention and uh, motivates them to make a purchase or affect their uh, cognition and behavior the huge number of products sold in such stores require an equally large numbers of marketing strategies so all the marketing strategies regarding four p's are environmental issues that are meant to influence consumers affect and consumer uh, oh, sorry cognition and their behavior so this is uh, all about the wheel of consumer behavior next is why cognition is so important so uh, then i have listed five uh, important uh, task for which the cognition is required the first one is to understand the environment you have to understand what is going on in and around you so you have to understand all the things and then you have to evaluate the environment after evaluating you have to plan and sort out your problems to attain the spe to attain specific goals so once you have understood uh, the environment evaluated the environment and uh, planned and solved your uh, Uh, problems to attain certain specific goals so after that you have number of possible alternatives so you have to find out the best possible alternative available to you in terms of cost benefit ratio and then you have to make the purchase decision so all these things requires thinking so thinking is central to all the process so first we have to understand the environment after understanding evaluation then plan and solve problems to attain goals then compare the available alternatives which are available to you and then uh, makes pros and cons of those alternatives and then finalize the final decision so all these activities requires thinking or you can say cognition which is important for consumers as well as marketers so uh, people have cognitions thought beliefs uh, and it varies person to person see uh, your mother might believe that a diet pepsi is not fattening she has a perception or she has a cognition that uh, the diet pepsi is healthy and nutritious and it is not letting her to gain weight so it is her cognition in the similar way so she can know where the grocery store is so that is her, um, her cognition so uh, if you think that interview uh, your interview uh, suit is stylish so that is based on your cognition as cognition is uh, entirely the mental state so it has nothing uh, generally nothing can be felt in the body or everything is going in the mind itself so it varies according to the person to person because different person think in a different way 
next is the three basic cognitive processes uh, in decision making um, the cognition process uh, can be identified in three sequences first one is interpretation of uh, stimuli through attention so first of all uh, the this uh, this entire process will start with uh, the sensation or you can say uh, you are getting stimuli from the external environment so after getting the stimuli from the environment you have to interpret that stimuli through with uh, through proper attention you have to draw some meaningful pattern out of those responses received from the environment so this is the first process second is process of integration that builds attitude intentions or decisions so uh, once you have gathered the uh, responses from the environment and you have drawn some meaningful pattern out of it next thing is to integrate uh, all those things that will be helping and building the attitudes intentions and ultimately help in purchase decisions so uh, first one is interpretation second is process of integration third is process of memory storing information and retrieving information so first is gathering information from the environment then we draw meaningful pattern out of it next is integrate all those interpretation that will help in building attitude intentions and decisions and the last one is then the uh, those uh, attitudes intentions and decisions will be stored in your mind and you have to retrieve that information when it is required so in this way uh, cognition play an important role for marketers so this is all for today's lecture uh, in the coming lecture we will be discussing about uh, consumer decision making process all the five steps of decision making process uh, and for which the starting point is the cognition itself so we have done with with the process of sensation perception motivation emotion and cognition now we will be heading towards the last topic of this uh, unit that is consumer decision making that will be covered in the next two lectures and after that there will be an assessment test for this unit so this is all i want to say for this lecture thank you for devoting your time